my name is Seth Kweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Hi everybody, alright so go with me to Photoshop, let's start with today's tutorial and then click on create new alright so I'm going to use here 2000 pixels for the width 2000 pixels for the height 72 for the resolution RGB color and then I'm going to call it dependent day I don't know what I could spell it correct flyer and then the color here I'll set it to color white and I'll click on create okay also i'll go to view and i'll go to new guy layout and then i would click over here on the margins here i'll set here to one let's set here to one let's set here to one let's set here to one and then click on okay so you're gonna have something like this which is cool i want us to start with our text over here let's come here let's pick ghana and then let's paste it there now i want you to come over here we are going to use this particular color we're going to use 20 21 21 okay, we're not going to use a pure black color and also i'm going to use tempo's headline all right it's a very cool um font and then i'm going to use a semi bold over here and then the font size i'm going to use two nine seven enter also make sure the tracking is zero and then let's position it click on the move to let's position it somewhere here somewhere here i think somewhere here is good okay all right so something like this awesome i'll duplicate it and then drag it down and then pick seeds match and then come here select it and then paste it there all right now i would also make sure i am using tempos headline of course semi bold of course but then the font size let's use 48 make it quite smaller and this is what we are looking for also make sure the tracking is zero like this and drag it all the way here i don't want it to go too much and so just bring it here a little bit and I think this is awesome. Let's go and bring this one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but you know, one of those things I downloaded online. Let's drag it down. Now let's give it a mask. Also, let's set the opacity all the way to around 39 they were about 39 is good now click on the mask here click on your brush tool here and then go and pick yourself round brush now you all know how i mask my things if you don't know go to my playlist and then look for the shorts folder and then you see masking over there it's a less than one minute tutorial i'm also going to leave the card up here you can click it easily and then go to it and watch how i do my things all right and then make sure your caps lock is off and then also let's set here to 100 percent and then let's clean here but let's clean the whole of this place okay something like this i also want us to reduce the opacity here to around 30 something and then clean inside a little bit also go inside here a little bit if possible let's click up here a little bit also click up here a little bit all right so just to give it a little effect and so this i think is cool for me uh, i would like to reveal this one let's set it to 100 percent i'd like to reveal this um sorry i'd like to reveal this one but i'd like to clean the other side so i think this is great now the next thing is our our love right Ghana, full of love my hometown country all right so let's do something like this but well, let's rotate it like that let's drag it down a little bit more let's see you can experiment with the size that you want you don't necessarily need to follow my own okay but here is the thing once it's there like that you can see the background here like this is faded 
if this is standing out too much it's going to look unreal so we can do something to it let's reduce the opacity to make it feel like it's in the distance you see and so around 60 percent is good now let's also go and pick our flag here and drag it in there and with this as well let's reduce the, side, the opacity all the way to all the way to 52 percent also makes it feel like it's in the distant and this is also quite cool and let's put everything in the folder and let's call it Ghana C match right okay now the next thing is let's type some few details here let's pick happy independence day and then let's paste it here all right i want to click on paragraph and then click over here to make it right aligned and then drag it somewhere here now open your character as well make sure we are using tiapos headline and then also come here set it to medium and then let's go here to the font size let's set it to 62 awesome let's come here to the leading let's set it to 55.48 awesome and then let's come here let's set the color to 14 14 14 and click on okay it's a more darkish color this is awesome let's zoom in and then let's see how it looks like great i think this is great right now let's pick this rectangular tool and let's draw a very thin rectangle like that and then also come here come over here set it to 14 14 14. i remember we don't want to use pure black color I, I don't want to i don't feel like using pure black color in this particular flyer you can try that one if you really want it but then um sometimes you just don't want a real black color you just want a little tint of it or uh, you know something like that we can put everything in a folder like that and then let's call it independence day hope i spelled it correctly the next thing is also our message in fact let's drag it over here like that okay and then let's go and pick the message here and then let's paste it in there now click over here go to paragraph and make sure it is left aligned come back to paragraph and then with this one i want us to use montserrat for it we don't want to use one font throughout so let's use montserrat for it let's also use regular for it great now let's set the font size over here to 34 awesome awesome let's come over here and let's set it to 43 that's the leading great okay so let's see let's come over here set it to 14 14 14 for the color and then i think double click it and let's work on it a little bit more so let's leave it like this all right and then let's pick our rectangular two and then let's draw just a short rectangle here and then let's double click it and then let's pick this particular color zero zero six b three f now this is color green right let's duplicate it click on your move to and move it duplicate it click on your move to and move it all right now let's come here let's du double click it and let's click on ce one one two six for a red color let's see this is the middle one double click it f c d one one six click on okay all right now let's put it 
all in a folder and then let's call it message so we are done with that one as well i think let's work with our social media handles as well let's click on our text too and let's pick our blog my blog all right and then just paste it there and then let's come here a little bit drag it somewhere here now I'll, i still want to use tempo's um headline so i'm going to use that particular one i'm going to set it to medium here and the font size i'm going to set it to 37 make it a little bit bigger and bolder and then the tracking to zero over here of course the color is going to be 14 14 14 i think you guys know now right <laughs> that the color black is going to be 14 14 14 on this particular um, tutorials or in this particular tutorial so let's drag this one as well in there and then enter i want us to drag let's zoom in i want us to drag this all the way here now let's click over here let's move it there as well you want it to be in the middle of it in the middle of that particular line awesome and also wanted to hit here now you want set k bunny also to be in the middle of that line also wanted to hit the other side of it great now let's pick this and let's start somewhere from here somewhere here let's make it quite thin okay let's click here let's click here and you all know 14 14 14 enter great now let's try and move it into that space great i feel like this particular one is not 14 14 14 i don't know why it doesn't want to be 14 14 14 let's okay it's 14 14 14 awesome awesome let's drag this one away okay so i think this is great so far let's put this 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 in a folder and let's call it social handles nice now let's work on our map our ghana map all right so let's drag this all the way in here and let's release it somewhere here let's also resize it a little bit we don't want it to be too 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 big okay so something like this isn't bad let's see what the size there is but the size isn't bad right guys this is not bad this is not bad all right so now let's reduce the fill all the way to zero and make it invisible i know what you are wondering if it's invisible how are we going to work it out um double click here and let's go to inner shadow awesome now i want you to set here to multiply i want you to set here to color black pure black zero 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 all right now the opacity i want you to set it to 63 and then the angle i want you to use 90 also come here to the distance use 30 for the distance use 11 for the choke and then for the size use 29 and then come here to the uh, contour click over here and choose this one and then the noise set the noise value to 10 percent and click on ok and just like that you are going to have something like this quite beautiful right now we can see what we are doing now so let's click over here and then let's create a rectangle like that okay duplicate it and move it down like that you also want to make sure there is equal space in between them right so duplicate it again and drag it down equal spacing all right now select all three and then resize it let's see how it looks like all right so you can see it's covered both side nicely right i think this is great now let's set the value back to this and let's drag it underneath it awesome now for this one double click it and let's choose this particular value C E one one two six for color red with this particular one 
F C D one one six. Great, right? And then this one, let's set it to zero zero six B three F for the green as well. I think this looks great so far. It looks great. But then let's also come and pick our star in here and drag it all the way here. Sweet. And then let's resize it. Now we are using our eyes as a gauge. Let's try and pin it to the middle of the map or the middle of the yellow. Okay, so I think this might be the middle. Now use your own judgment, guys. I think you can you can try and then use your own judgment. And then let's go to the layer style of the star click on stroke and then we're going to do actually two things over here for the stroke go here set the value to four click here set it to outside set here to normal kindly make sure the opacity is 100 click over here and come and choose the yellow color here click on ok and then come back over here to drop shadow exactly now also set here to multiply click over here set it to 14 14 14 and then you also want to make sure the opacity is 51 the angle is 31 and then the distance 16 the spread 23 and then the size 16 now come here set the contour to this and then also the noise reduce it to zero if it's not already zero and then we are good to go click over here on ok and then you're going to have it very nice like you can see the shadow over here let me see so you can see the shadow over there that is what we are looking for guys that is what we are looking for and then now let's bring in some texture as well let's drag this in there and there's an overlay element that i i got online right but let's resize it okay so let's see set it to screen all right now click on alt and hold it and click on the mask over here you can see it over there click on your brush to make sure caps lock is off increase the size of the brush and then you all know how to mask already set here to color white okay let's just paste over here do a little bit over here as well now let's click over here steady opacity all the way to around 35 and then let's set here to color black then let's try and then clean the one inside here as well all right and then let's see okay so i think this is great so far all right now let's bring in some solid color over here so click over here go to solid color and then let's choose this particular color code e g e c e c so it's not white but it's closer to white click on ok now hold control and come and click over here you're gonna have this shape over here come over here delete the mask and then make sure this is selected create a mask over there then come here to your properties and then invert so you see this is how it was at first now this is how it looks like now very cool right very 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 cool and then let's create a new layer and then create a uh, create clipping mask to it and then click on our brush to come here and set it to color white pick your brush too guys remember and then half of it let's reduce it half of it just paint on half of it brush on half of it make sure half of it is white now it doesn't look like you can really see it well sometimes but it's there to so select everything now put it in a folder let's call it map and then i want you to do one thing i want you to drag it all the way down awesome and then let's see let's select everything and let's see let me see what i can push the map here a little bit all right guys so this is how you create this beautiful um, independence day flyer now if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave some comment as well guys remember i love you all see you in the next tutorial peace